Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I please ask you to not do the following mistake when you're renewing or prolonging your residency permit in Italy. Today, client called me after the fingerprints in Immigration Office Questura and said, Oh, David, thank you so much. Your assistance was not necessary, so I didn't call you. I did the fingerprints. They took my old permit and I'm just waiting for the new one. This is a big, terrible mistake. So remember, please, when you're renewing the residency permit in any European country, but we talk specifically about Italy, you are not supposed to give them the old residency permit until the next third and last appointment when you will be given the new residency permit. And when the new residency permit will be given to you, you have to check the details, see carefully if everything is correct. When you get the new permit, you give them the old one only in this order. So if the policeman doesn't know the law, maybe he is new, maybe he is not aware of certain practice. So don't give away the old residency permit, even if it's expired, even if it's old, even if it's expired like one year ago. It doesn't matter how long is expired. You have to keep your residency permit together with the ricevuta, the receipt from the post office, until you get the SMS on the phone saying that you can get the new residency permit. This topic is very peculiar. That's the reason, that's why I always advise all my clients to ask our paid accompaniment to every steps in the renewing and obtainance of the residency permit. This is really, really, really important, so please take note of this. So you are not supposed to give your old permit until the next one. Usual steps to do that is you send the kit in the post office. First, you go to the fingerprints and you don't give back your residency permit. Remember this, please. And third appointment, you get the new residency permit. And in exchange, you give your old residency permit. That's right. Another terrible thing that said to my client today is you can go back to your country because you already said as you're going to be to travel. And then there you're going to ask a new visa to re-enter. That's called the re-entry visa. Guys, never do the re-entry visa. Because if you do the re-entry visa, the consul will call and send a message to the immigration office and first thing will inform that this person is physically not present in Italia terribly. This is terrible. So you are supposed to be always in Italy. If Italian immigration office knows that you are abroad, that's a reason why you show sort of what we call immigration lawyers disinterest in the prolongation of the residency permit. So do not do that absolutely in any way or any manner and never do the re-entry visa. Always listen to your lawyer and please come for a paid consultation instead of losing this opportunity. By the way, there is a sort of other mysteries against the today client because it's very strange and peculiar. And I will say it's not very often happening that the clients get back and the request to give back the residency permit when you do the fingerprints. Always come to a professional lawyer. I'm here available for help you to assist you and accompany you in any steps of the renewing and asking and prolonging of your residency permit, long-term permit, everything which is connected to this. Any questions, comment here below. You have my WhatsApp number. The question is for free. A vocal note is for free. If you need a paid consultation, just tell me. I will describe you. I will meet or personally or via WhatsApp or via Zoom or via Skype as more comfortable for you. Thank you so much.